Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how to connect a PS3 controller to your PC, the Wada and Wireless in 2022 running the brand new Windows 11. So before I start the video, if this is your first time, make sure you click the red subscribe and turn the bell so you don't miss any future video. So now jump with the video. So first thing you need to do, you're gonna come to my Discord server. It should be in the description of the pin comment, and then you're gonna tap on links, and then you're gonna see the link is scroll up. So you're gonna scroll up, and then you're gonna see a link something like this. So just right click on, and then click on copy link, or you can just click on it and then click on yes. And then it then it take a step to the link. Now we're just gonna click on paste and now we're gonna see something like this. Now we're just gonna click on download and now we're gonna click on save. And if there's anything that pop up, you're gonna, gonna close it. So the file is really small, it will take a few seconds. So after that you can just close the browser and now we're just gonna open up the download folder. Just download it. So you can see something like this. Now you're gonna right click on it, you can click on show more option. And then you're gonna click on extract too. So with this, it will just create a folder, and then it will organize. Nice. Now you can just a, a delete the zip. And for all for unzipping file, you can just get a, a, a winner or seven zip. For my, I like to use winner. So after that, and also for this video, there's a, a two things you need: your controller and the cable that came with the controller. But things if you want, you can actually connect this to your PC wirelessly as well. So in this video, I'll talk about the a, a wireless meter because for the wireless, there's an adapter you need. So there's a, a Bluetooth dongle you need. So if you have extra one, you can actually use that and it's pretty simple. So now you're just gonna uh, uh, plug it into your PC. And now you're gonna take the other end of the USB and then you're gonna uh, plug this right here. And also this is a mini USB. So now you're just gonna uh, plug it in and you're gonna see it will start flushing. And for my already connected this before, so that's why it's on player one. So now we're gonna go to the SPC driver so that we download it and then you're gonna tap on bin and you're gonna see all of this. There's only one thing that matters, it's the SPC driver that one you're gonna click on it and then you're gonna click on yes and now you're gonna see you're gonna see something like this so now you're just gonna close the other one and now we're just gonna focus only on this one right here you're gonna see in the bottom there's a, a few option there, there is for the a, a bluetooth so if you're connecting by bluetooth make sure this is on but uh, we're not gonna do that for the other one a configure service we can also turn that off it doesn't matter but the important is the first install that's the only thing that matter after that it is gonna hit install now you're gonna see it will go through all the posts and this can take a few seconds to few minutes. It just it really depends on the file. So just have some patience and, and also if you guys in this video, it then it, it don't gonna smash the like button. So after that you're gonna see install summary, it, it, it should say successful. If you don't see successful, that means it, it, it is something wrong. So after that you're just gonna click on exit. Now you're gonna see your controller should be on a, a player one, just like this. So if you see a player one, it means it's connected and everything is good. So now if you just hold down the uh, PlayStation button, you're gonna see that it's gonna actually start working. So now we're just gonna open up the Steam to uh, show this example. So now I just open up the Steam. It, it, as in said, the controller is working, I'm still fine. And now we're just gonna open up the setting and now we're gonna go to the controller setting. So this is just for the first time and you're gonna see in the bottom that a PC thing is Xbox 360 controller. So that's the, all the uh, driver we install. So that is a, 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 what it does do. So for the computer, I think it's a Xbox 360 controller. For us, it doesn't matter. We, we're just gonna go back. Now we're just gonna open up a library and now I'll just quickly open up the game to show you guys.
that is it for this quick video if you guys enjoyed this video then uh, uh, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you need to my channel and see you guys next time peace out